Hello friends. Today I will mainly introduce an universal minor fan tester and demonstrate its specific usage. F1 minor fan tester can be used to test ant minor fans. Inosilicon minor fans. Watts minor fans. And Avalon minor fans. First, I will introduce the tools and materials that need to be used when testing the cooling fans with this tester. There are some fans that will be tested today, and I will give a detailed introduction in the later testing process. Antminer APW3 plus DC 12 volts PSU can be used to power the tester. It's worth mentioning that this tester requires a DC 12 volts powering, so we can also use other power supplies that output a DC 12 volts voltage. Next, I will introduce the interface and buttons of the F1 fan tester in detail. This is the display screen for showing the test results. DC 12 volts powering interface. Its input voltage is 12 volts. 4 pin fan interface. Used to connect 4 wire fans such as ant miner, inosilicon miner, etc. 6 pin fan interface. Only used to connect watts minor fans. Finally, this is also a 4 pin fan interface, but it is only used to connect Avalon minor fans. The plus button can be used to change menu options or increase values, while the minus button can also change menu options, but decrease values. The OK button is mainly used to save the set parameters. After each change in parameters, we need to press the OK button to save it. The Menu button is used to open the menu options, then set and adjust related parameters. Next, I will power up the F1 fan tester, and then introduce its other features. When the display screen shows this interface, it means the startup is complete. Here the test result will be displayed. If the fan is good, it will show pass. If the fan is damaged, it will show fail. RPM represents the number of times the fan rotates per minute, which is the real-time speed of the tested fan. PWM stands for pulse width modulation. Setting this parameter can adjust the fan speed, generally set to 100% full speed. Pressing the menu button, we will then introduce more features in detail. The first row displays the test mode of the fan tester, which can be divided into automatic and manual. Generally, we use automatic mode. Pressing the minus button will set it to manual mode while pressing the plus button will set it to automatic mode. Fan test will display the test result, but in manual mode, the test result will be turned off. Test time represents the time of testing, which is usually set to around 10 seconds to 15 seconds. T speed represents the speed at which the fan is tested. If testing a fan with 7000 RPM, it should be set to 7000 RPM. If testing a fan with 6000 RPM, it should be set to 6000 RPM. After selecting T speed by pressing the menu button, the speed can be set by holding down the minus or plus button, and then press OK to save the settings. Pressing the menu button again, Language represents the language setting. This fan tester supports English and Chinese. After setting, you can manually return to the initial page or wait for it to return automatically. Sound represents the voice of the tester, which can be turned off or on. The device SN at the end represents the factory serial number of the tester, and when using the tester, this serial number does not need to be taken into consideration. Well, 
These are the interface and functions of this fan tester. Next, I will demonstrate how to use the F1 tester to test the minor fans. The first one, Ant Minor 7000 RPM Minor Fan. Attention, when using the F1 tester to test the minor fan, only one fan can be connected each time, and multiple fans cannot be inserted at the same time, otherwise the tester will be damaged. First, we set the parameters of the tester according to the fan speed, 7000 RPM. Press the OK button to save the setting, and then return to the test interface. When testing the fan, it cannot be placed flat. We need to ensure that the fan is vertically placed, and then the front and rear airflow of the fan can operate normally during operation to ensure more accurate test results. Connect the fan interface, and place the fan vertically. You can see that the screen of the tester is displaying the results. If pass is displayed, it means that the fan is normal. The second one, Avalon 7000 RPM minor fan. When connecting the fan interface on the tester, we need to connect the four pin interface below. Look, the speed is normal. And the test result is also pass, indicating that this fan is also normal. If the fan is damaged, it will show fail, and it cannot pass the test. Alright, that's the functions and how to use the F1 minor fan tester. Thank you all.